Hello. Today I'm going to show you how to make almost any regular backpack uh, convertible to a crossbody or shoulder bag. When you're traveling and you go to a place that doesn't allow backpacks, you can easily change the backpack out to be a crossbody bag. And you'll need to look for a few things when choosing a backpack. One, I would suggest nylon straps. And there's a reason for that, but it isn't absolutely necessary. Um, the second thing is a continuous loop adjusting strap. This one here has a, a two-part strap and that won't work as well. And the other thing is the width, how wide set these two straps are. You want them a little bit wider than, than how this is done. These are a little bit wider. They're outside of this handle loop. They're on the outside. First thing you're gonna do is you're gonna detach the existing straps from the bag. You're gonna cut them you're going to cut them down here. Let's measure that. Let's say three inches. Three inches from the seam you're going to cut. Maybe give yourself a little more if you need to. Now what you're going to do is you're going to attach either D-rings or O-rings right here like this. Now this is where nylon strap would have been handy because you've got your fraying. Now, if this has any polyester in it, this will melt. We're about to find out. Hey, look at that. That had polyester in it. So by just burning the edges, that will keep that from unraveling. So I'm guessing most of your straps, even if they feel very cottony, will have a little bit of uh, polyester in them, and therefore this will work. If not, you'll just have to sew them down in such a way that it, it won't unravel. So like, put a seam there, then put your ring on, and then you would sew right here. I'm gonna use these rings, these circle rings, just because they match my existing hardware better. I'm gonna go sew those, just a regular uh, straight stitch, a couple of them here and here, and then I'll come back. Okay, that took longer than it should have. Me and my sewing machine don't always get along, and you can see these stitches aren't so straight, but you get the idea. I just basically put three rows in there just for strength, and um, they will hold. If, if I'd used the same color thread, you wouldn't even be able to see them. Okay, so now you're gonna take these straps that you cut off, thread them through, And you're going to have to now attach the attach them together. Okay. I guess you could also use like a fray check or a glue or something like that. Okay, so here's where you want to make sure you do this right. These need to be flat against the backpack all the way down. And then they fit together like that. What you can see here is I sewed it. Didn't do a great job, but you can sort of get the idea. And so now you can pull these through and it's crossbody, or you can do them like this and it's a backpack. And I will show you that now. Backpack mode. And now. Now it's a crossbody messenger. Now I shorten these. Then it becomes a shoulder bag. That's actually pretty comfortable like that. I'll throw it behind you like that. Okay. And then 
to go back into backpack mode. You probably have to lengthen those, but maybe not. There, there we are again in backpack mode. But I got to looking at it, and I saw another one online that was convertible, and I thought, you know, I can do that with this bag. And so I removed the original straps, which were sewn in here and looped in here, and made a strap, which you really don't have to do that. You can, um, you can just cut the straps and reattach them up here. But I decided to go with a leather strap with a little shoulder pad. And then it becomes a crossbody bag. We'll start off in backpack mode. Okay. Now we're going to go to crossbody. Go into crossbody. And then, of course, it can go into the shoulder strap uh, mode the same way as well. I hope that that explains sort of how I did my modifications on these bags, and um, maybe you can find a bag that works for you, and you can do the same thing.